What's up guys? I'm going to be going over what GraphQL subscriptions are and why you might actually want to use them. And I'm going to do this with a little example to demonstrate how these guys work. So I have a little application here that's using uh, optimistic UI and, and it does a mutation. So I can create a new user here. We have some usernames that we see here. I can add another one on and he just pops up here, right? That's fine and dandy. But what happens if I go into, say, another client and I want to create a user? So I create my new user, hello from Graphical. Uh, if I come over here, I don't see my user. But if I refresh the page, oh, hey, look, our guy is right here. And that is where uh, subscriptions come in. Notice how I had to refresh the page to see this. Um, but with subscriptions, what you can do is you can be listening for other clients, so other you know browsers, other people that are making calls, so you can update your uh, UI based on that. So just to show you a little example of how that works, I'm going to go ahead and comment out my optimistic UI. I'm just going to straight up delete it. And I'm going to uncomment my subscription to show you guys how this works. And now we're using subscriptions. Now, subscriptions, I can just like do the same thing I was doing here before. Hi again. And if I create this user, we see it here. And just to show you, there's nothing pending. I'll refresh the page, just nothing here. But now, if I come over here and let's say we do it twice and I send. I come back to my application. Hey, notice it pops up here and I didn't even refresh the page. Um, and it works the same. I can create users on this page. But now whenever I'm doing stuff from here, I don't even have to. And I can do multiple, right? Like let's do like five, up to five here. They all populate. So that's really cool. And that's why uh, GraphQL subscriptions are really handy because you can show real-time data to the user and it doesn't really matter how many people are adding stuff you're listening for all of them uh, so you can have like 10 people at creating users like this all across the earth it doesn't matter uh, where they are different apps different browsers doing this and you're all gonna get the updates here so that's super cool um, that's I just wanted to give a little demo how it works and why you might want to use it I'm gonna be doing a video tomorrow on how to set up the server and then I'm gonna to be able to do this and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up on the client this is using react ql I'm gonna also show how to do it with the other uh, with next.js and the other uh, react starter kits so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one